Hello everybody, my name is Paul Zachary Shelton III and I want to provide you with a quick economic stimulus update. Hello everyone, so the fighting words have begun. Can we give a huge month, uh, chunk of money to the people who are disenfranchised, to minorities who, have, who want so badly to stay in business and can't, and to people who, who are trying to go to college or have student loans who are minorities, who are the most affected because they have the least chance in our country? That's got to be something both sides can agree to. Perhaps you mistook them for somebody who gives a damn. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Zachary Shelton Jr. and I'm the Chief Investment Officer of Warwick Shore Advisors. We are a wealth and investment management firm located in Orlando, Florida with clients across the United States. If this is your first time coming to my channel or seeing one of my videos, I ask that you please hit the subscribe button, please ring the bell so that you can get an update each time I post a new video. And lastly, please like and share this video to help me increase the financial literacy of our globe. I want to give a special thanks to my nine-year-old for co-anchoring this show with me today. Thank you so much. I want to talk to you about something that's very, very important, where we currently stand in our economy. The jobs report was just released, and there's approximately 1.8 million new jobs that were added, but it's more so of a recycling of jobs that were recently lost that came back. Although we're moving in the right direction with the unemployment rate down to 10.2%, we still have a long way to go to get back to where we need to be to have full health in our economy. So back to the economic stimulus topic, the topic of the economic stimulus, the topic of what's going to happen, the topic of so many people that are still hurting right now and that are still feeling the pain from this economic recession that we're in related to this pandemic. So where we stand right now, is still somewhat at an impasse but coming closer together as you've heard from the video i played the fighting words have started and it's starting to get personal now and their congress is starting to show their colors and they're getting fed up and frustrated all at the same time if they don't get anything done today they will be going to recess and that's just going to slow down negotiations that's going to slow down talks and that's going to increase the probability of more foreclosures more evictions and all the nasty stuff that's going to happen without a deal being done. Find a solution, we will. Will we have an agreement? We will. Uh, but it's hard to, uh, to share, uh, to go across the table with somebody who wants to give a tax break for somebody to have a, a business lunch and refuses to give more money for children who are food insecure in our country to giving more for food stamps. That's kind of a definition of who we are. Can we give a huge uh, chunk of money to the people who are disenfranchised, to minorities who, have, who want so badly to stay in business and can't, and to people who, who are trying to go to college or have student loans who are minorities, who are the most affected because they have the least chance in our country? That's got to be something both sides can agree to. Perhaps you mistook them for somebody who gives a damn for what Ooh, you just geez. described. That's... Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, see, the thing is, they don't believe in governance. They don't believe in governance, and that requires some acts of government to do that. Uh, but just what you described is what Mr. Uh, Schumer, Chuck Schumer, is proposing uh, that we do uh, with some of the resources uh, in the bill. So I wanted to talk to you today about some of the things that are going to potentially be in the deal when it's passed based on what we've known so far, based on what we've learned so far, I should say. So first off, most importantly, when it comes to the unemployment, Mitch McConnell seems like he's shifting towards um, offering the $600 now and re-engaging that. I'm going to speak to you in a little bit about how long it's going to take for that $600 to actually come out and to actually land 
in your hands, but it seems like we're moving in a path, in a direction to where there's gonna be a common medium of the minds on the $600 unemployment bonus. As for the second stimulus checks, um, there is very, very little disagreement, or at least no disagreement at all, about the amount of the stimulus checks. Both the HEROES Act and the Hills Act provide $1,200 for um, adult individuals that are filing their taxes and $2,400 for those filing their taxes jointly. Um, the only difference is in the Hills Act, they will actually increase things when it comes to the dependents. So the, re the rebates for dependents found in the CARES Act will be removed for the second stimulus payment. This will make college student dependents, among others, eligible for the rebate. So, you know, all those that you claimed on your tax returns, all those that were claimed as dependents on a tax return, whether you were a um, college student or if you were an adult dependent, um, someone that was living, you know, with your child or anything of that nature, you would still be eligible to receive the dependent amount for the economic stimulus. So Steve Mnuchin said earlier this week that if a stimulus is signed today, if it's passed through Congress, signed by the president today and rushed through and everything is all done, it'll only take him one week to start sending out checks for everyone, which is a good thing. This moves very quickly. He said he can get at least 50 million checks, not $50 million, 50 million checks to individuals out very quickly in, a, in at least a week's time. So this is something that is very good news that if uh, we, whenever we do come to a deal or whenever the impasse is over and Congress can get together and agree, shake their hands and the president can sign it into law, we will have something that will land very quickly. We know under the CARES Act, those stimulus checks took approximately 14 days after it was passed to get out to everyone. So if there's something that can be done that can get this out quicker, by all means, I'm all for it. Unfortunately, with the unemployment payments, that's gonna be a different scenario. Unemployment payments will take longer to be sent out. According to a report by CNBC, states made changes to their computer systems when the $600 benefit expired. To reverse those changes and resume enhanced unemployment benefits could still take weeks, several weeks, even those that in the states with modernized technology. So unfortunately, it's gonna take much longer for the unemployment benefits to come once that's passed. So hopefully if Congress can get something done today before they go on recess or get something done in the next week or two while they're on recess, and get that signed into law, hopefully we will start to see stimulus payments by the first week of September, possibly. And then the unemployment payments possibly will come back in maybe around mid-September towards the latter part of September. I know that seems like such a long time away, but that's just the reality of it, unfortunately. If you have any questions or any concerns about anything that I mentioned in this video, please leave a comment. Please give me your thoughts. Um, on how you feel about the economic stimulus and how it's shaping up and, and what the package is looking like at this moment. Please subscribe to this channel. Please ring the bell so that you can get an update each time I post a new video. And lastly, please like and share this video to help me increase the financial literacy of our globe.